Well, we have everyone here, don't we? Yes, we do. And it is 6.03, so we will start this. We have a quorum. We know who's here, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any, uh, any citizens with petitions? Uh, no, I have no attendees on the uh, list over here. Very good. All right, you all got a chance to look at the minutes, is that correct? Correct. Anybody have any additions, subtractions, or edits? For that purpose, I'll move the minutes of April 1st, 2021. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin moves the minutes as given. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you, David. We have a mo motion to accept, and it's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Hearing none, the minutes pass unanimously. Very good. Moving on to correspondence. Anybody receive anything? Uh, no. No. And I've received nothing on behalf of the committee, so. I haven't either, which is wonderful. All right, moving to reports. Okay. We have all sorts of staff that's waiting to talk to us, I hope. Oh, yeah. Let's hear from Kelly first tonight. Hey. Right. I'm not on mute, right? Okay, good. Okay. All right, we'll start with uh, Mystic River, Cutler. Um, our metal panels, metal, metal panels on the building have begun on the exterior of area A. Our storefront windows are installed and complete. Just have to go around and do some um, caulking and some gasket installs here and there. Um, <clears throat> the curtain walls are ongoing. We are complete with the curtain wall in the gym and cafeteria. Just have a couple of pieces of uh, glass to replace. Um, and then also caulking of those as well. So that's underway. MEP roughens are underway in area A and B. Um, ceiling grid is being installed throughout the entire building at this point. Uh, drywall is substantially, substantially complete in area B and underway in area A in a few areas, but almost done along with taping. Painting is ongoing in area C, first coat or primer, first coat and final coat. Uh, so they're moving along with painting. Oh. Oh. Our permanent power is scheduled to be turned on on April 20th. And our uh, out, L, uh, let's see, inside LDT and epoxy flooring install is still underway. So that's continuing in area C. Um, our walk in cooler and freezer has been installed in the kitchen. And then moving outside, baseball field layout is still underway, along with uh, fencing throughout the site and sidewalks and grading. And that is pretty much it for Mystic River. Any specific questions for Mystic River? Gas. I'm sorry, what? No. Gas. Gas, has, it's not, it's to the building, meter set, but it hasn't been turned on yet. Also on the gas side, we're still working with the gas company over the paving and the Fishtown Road, you know, so as soon as I can get that resolved, I'm waiting for some numbers for them, which I haven't received yet. So, um, and and before we leave here, we'd like to uh, kind of keep the schools a little more separated if we can. We got three items that we'd like to talk to the committee about, committee about getting approval or having final approval for the funding on. So, you know, we could either bring those up right now or, or before Kelly moves on, if that's okay with the with the Mr. Chair there. So, um, um, well, yeah. Kelly's finished a report on one school. So um, I check and see if anybody has any questions of Kelly sure. for Mystic River School, other than safety and COVID. Yeah, I was going to do that together, but we can keep that separate too, which is probably a good idea, like Rick said. So, in safety, this case, 
Yeah, safety issues, no safety issues, but we did have a COVID case at the Cutler project or the Mystic River project. Uh, one, the one, one COVID case that, that, was, that broke our eight, eight week stretch of uh, COVID free. So contract tracing is underway and we've only heard of one other case. So there's two at Mystic River and that should uh, cut that spread. They're home, they're home uh, resting and isolating. Simple question, Kelly. Are you being tested often? I got my first test yesterday because of the Cutler case, but yes, I got tested. It came back negative, um, but I've been, uh, you know, just trying to stay away from people. <laughs> Flowser, I mean, being that you're pregnant or no, I was just curious if you're getting yeah. tested. Yeah, it's been, it's hard to tell what I'm feeling, if it's like a symptom or just pregnancy. So I got tested yesterday. Um, and then I, I do have to start getting tested often, uh, doctor's orders. So Yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It sounds like they're having a party up there. Oh. Okay. okay, any further questions for Cal? No. Did you want right. to get the specifics of uh, the change orders that Rick wanted to talk about for Cutler? That's what I was just going to say is I know Rick has a couple of things he yep. wants to mention about Cutler yep. that we're going to need to vote on. And yep. so this would be the time to pop those in. Yep. So Kelly, you can add to if I leave something out, the footbridge, um, we've got a, uh, finally got a, uh, a good estimate on that. You know, the previous estimate we had was uh, included public works doing the work as opposed in installation as opposed to a contractor at this particular time. So I know Bob was a little taken aback at the cost, but it's it's only 62,000, I'll say only. Um, it could have been much worse, but there, uh, that's uh, what it came out. We also had uh, experienced an increase in the price of lumber, which uh, Brian could certainly fill you in on because uh, <laughs> Plywood is like through the roof at this time, but mostly oh, yeah, the, that, most of that is, and uh, yep. and anything that was pressure treated just went up a hundred percent. Yep. So this is all pressure treated lumber. It's uh, sixty two thousand complete. Sixty two thousand four hundred and seventy four is what we have for the change order amount, and includes uh, the bridge, the abutments on both sides, which are really uh, stacked stone or stone, if you will, inside a gabion and mat kind of arrangement. If folks are sort of aware of that, but it's kind of a net uh, fence kind of arrangement that keeps the stones in with the bridge on top of it and then going out to either side. So I would request that uh, the committee approve that amount and we move forward with it. We haven't uh, started anything with it yet. We've looked at access. It doesn't affect the rest of the project, but there is access uh, really at the corner, almost near home plate uh, where the ball field is out the back. So um, they have access to that. And there's also access through that trail that runs by the, the pond, if you will, too. And of course, if they need to, they'll come out on the other side, but I think all the work will be done from the school side, if you will. So if I could have a, a motion to approve that. Well, okay, you need a motion? Yep. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve a However you want to word it. Well, that's the foot, footbridge over Fort, or over uh, Fishtown Brook. Fishtown Brook. Yeah. Uh, but I, for X amount of money. Or you I guys, I, I, I would ask that you not do that because that okay, always question. happens. It, it becomes a problem. You know what the estimate is. That's our best estimate. If we're going to spend more or have to, for some reason, we'll come back to you and let you know that. I'll, I'll move the footbridge. So, I mean, I, I request that um, if we can do it that way. Yeah, I'll move it. Okay, thank you. Oh, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Dave Russell, seconding. So, no questions? Everybody's good with this? Question I do have. You mentioned that Public Works is doing it? No, no, it. the the original the original bid information. The plans were drawn up by the town engineer uh, in early 2018, uh, and that's what they estimated when Public Works was going to do the work. 
Um, now that we have a contractor on, it's a little bit different, plus the increase in cost over the years. So, so this, the contractor, Richards, the site contractor for the school will be doing the work. Okay. And just for the heck of answering, if Public Works did it, what would the cost be then? Oh, I don't know. We, we have a site contractor. We didn't go back to them. And they are not uh, equipped or have the time and, and staff at this particular time to do that work, I wouldn't think. So we only have the one bid. We have the one change order proposal, yes. It's, it's not a bid. Not a bid. No, bid no bids on it. All right, so we have a motion and a second. Any other further questions? All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. So Doug, Dave, and Kevin are aye? Yes. Very good. Okay. Then the it next, passes. Thank you. The next two I think we're going to take is together because they deal with uh, the fields, if the field, playing field, if you will, and only the playing field, not uh, other grass on the site. <laughs> the grassy will. knolls. Yeah, none of, the, none of the other stuff around the building or on the other side of the building or whatever. It's basically the, the play field where the soccer field and the baseball field would be. Um, and the estimate I gave you last time was 132,400 and 60 some dollars for sod that hasn't changed um, we looked at areas where maybe you could reduce that it didn't appear that that should be done because it's either going to be near the trees where spectators would be sitting and that sort of thing so it looked like it would be beneficial to have that entire area um, sodded if you will so the grass is consistent throughout that area the uh, irrigation did come down just slightly, maybe about five, $6,000. It's still 126,000 to do the irrigation. As I said, the irrigation is of that uh, field area only. So it would include a room on that, not baseball and soccer at the same time, but certainly room on that baseball field to lay out a full-size soccer field. So I would request, uh, I'm sorry. Well, I thought maybe there was a question. So I would request the two folks uh, consider passing that for us so we can continue on. It's, it's, we're sort of at a time critical uh, area, if you will, because they are laying out the field. They have uh, put the sub base in for the infield stuff. To, and then the infield doesn't have irrigation under it, but it will have a, a hose bib if you want, will to wet it down and that sort of thing. But they're getting ready to do paving other site work. So it's, it's uh, important, I think, at this time that we're able to move forward on, on that particular project or those two projects. And in fact, this is slightly less expensive than the earlier quote or yes. the earlier estimate. Yeah. And we'll look at other, if there's other ways to decrease that, like we always do, we'll do that um, when we get the final change order in. All right, so any questions on this? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion. I'll make approve. the motion to move the irrigation in the south. Thank you, David. We have a second? Second. Thank you, Kevin. All right, we have a motion and it has been seconded to uh, approve uh, going forward with the sod and the irrigation based on the numbers that Rick has just given us. All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. That one passes too. Well, thank you. And we'll talk about West Side when Kelly's done with her report. Oh. Thank you. We'll have one more. Yep. All right, Kelly. All right. So back to the schedule update. So Thames River for West Side. Um, storefront window install is complete. Uh, just finishing up some caulking and gasket install throughout the building. Our curtain wall install has begun in the gymnasium. Just got to uh, install some glazing in there, caulking and gaskets, etc. And then we're going to move over to the cafeteria after that. 
Uh, added heat roughens are still underway in area A and B. Area C drywall is complete at this point. Taping is ongoing. And then um, taping and insulation in area A and B is ongoing. Painting is underway throughout everywhere but A, I'd say. So lots of painting going on. Um, our freezer and coolers, freezer and coolers at West Side are also installed. And they have begun the LVT flooring install and the epoxy flooring install in area C, along with our millwork that started this week. So they're moving along on the first floor of area C. Our permanent power for West Side is scheduled for April 26th. That's under that's being coordinated with Eversource. Um, and then outside work, we have um, sidewalks underway, uh, grading underway, and hydro seating has begun as well. And no safety issues and no COVID issues at West Side. You said Eversource for the West Side project? Oh, I meant ground utilities, sorry. Okay. Ever source that color? Yeah, we are. Um, we have uh, received to add the Kelly stuff since you brought up the ever source on the gas. We uh, will get a rebate of about forty six thousand dollars for gas over there. We're also uh, Kelly is also. I put her in contact with the ground utilities folks, Hollis McKee over there, who operates their rebate program, if you will. So they're talking about that. We should be able to get some incentives for the lights and, and maybe some of the other equipment. So we'll let you know as that goes forward. Also, we're working on the other school for the same thing. Um, the two things I have there are irrigation and sod, which you can handle together. The sod has, has been reduced to about 65,000. We were down to about 60,000 square feet. Uh, based on the fact that we don't need to put it where they're putting up their greenhouses. And the irrigation, uh, we uh, were able to get that rerouted to a lot shorter distance, more appropriate location, if you will. Uh, Kelly's worked hard with those guys to get that done. And that's been reduced from 120,000. I think they had originally to 80,000. So, and again, again, that's the field area. Um, one thing that uh, is going on, you know, that Kelly didn't talk so much about was paving. And they're looking at paving, cleaning the field area out, getting uh, all those uh, trailers and stuff full of stuff moved, moved out of there. So, but I would uh, appreciate entertaining a motion on, on those costs. Like you said, they are down significantly 15,000 on sod and uh, probably 20,000, 25,000 on, uh, on irrigation, if you will. I'll so. move the irrigation inside at the West Side project. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Um, any questions before we move to a second? Well, you'd actually need a second. <laughs> Hearing none, do I hear a second? Yeah, I'll second. Thank you, David. Motion has been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Hi. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Kelly, thank you so much for the work. I mean, this is a huge savings over what we thought initially. So good job. Yep. We do appreciate it. Yep. I've uh, uh, just as a sort of a side comments, I've walked through both of the buildings a couple times over the last week or so. Things are, are moving along. We are making some improvements. Schedule wise over at West Side, if you look at the two projects, one's ahead on one thing, the other one's ahead on something else. So, um, and actually, you know, with power uh, and a delay getting the main power uh, breakers and, and things there, it's really, uh, uh, they've done pretty well and able to bring power in, you know, that close to what's going on at the other school. So, um, you know, floors are a little bit behind but ceilings ahead. So it's right now, uh, Brian has been working with them, looking at the schedule and uh, they've done a walkthrough and, and a refinement of the schedule. So we're, uh, 
we're not 100% confident that it's going to be done on the 30th, but it, things are looking much better. And if it's late, it probably won't be more than a week or two. Um, other, uh, other something else I should talk about is move. Uh, and I talked to you about it, Bob, that uh, Sam had talked to the uh, rec department and offered up some space in a couple of the schools during the summer. We're going to meet tomorrow. Uh, this is Morrison and uh, Uncle Claude School, Claude Chester. And, and we're going to, yes, and we'll work on uh, how to coordinate those things because the, the rec department wants to run some programs through the 13th of, of July, I mean, of August. And the original plan was to uh, move things out and over to the elementary schools from those buildings around the first. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow and, and how we can accommodate both operations with, without any impact to either one of the groups. So we'll, we'll let you know how that comes out. Um, one thing I should mention too, is I'm gonna be out the next meeting uh, out of town. I gotta go to the West Coast and so you'll see uh, Brian's smiling face along with uh, Kelly and, and uh, Tammy. So Tammy's, I guess, still got the middle school. So I will, I'll get off the floor and let somebody else have it. I just have another question for Kelly. The barriers on the thing area that they basically have completed as of now, they're all wood, correct? The, guard, uh, the guardrails. The guardrails. Yeah. They're, they're not. They? They're not all wood. There's, yeah, they're um, not all wood. It's there's exactly. metal. There's a metal plate and the steel posts. Yeah, the vertical is wood. The horizontal is steel. My only question with that is, what's the splintering process or problems with that, if anything? So, so Kevin, I, I might be able to help you out. So this is a. Uh, this is a standard DOT detail. It's called the Merritt Parkway Guardway. Sorry, Bob, you're, you're, you were muted or whatever. I couldn't hear you. Okay. Anyways, it's, uh, it's the Merritt Parkway uh, guardrail detail. It's a DOT standard. And what it is, is it's a steel post with a backer plate and then it bolts through, you know, all that stuff is rated for, you know, weather and long-term as far as splintering goes. I mean, any piece of wood is going to splinter, but it's treated against that and it's used and it's sort of that standard DOT draw. So it's not anything that anybody, you know, made up or created. They actually pulled it right from the DOT standards to do like they do along Route 15. That's actually where the name Merritt Parkway Guardrail came from, because that's that's what they've been using for their standard now for a number of years. I understand all that and I and I know what they look like and everything, but I'm just figuring I have young kids who could be hanging out there, sitting on them and everything else. And I just want to make sure of the safety because on the highways, people aren't getting out of their cars and parking them hmm. and hanging out next to the barrier. Yeah. I just worry about the kids with wear and tear and playing along them that they're not going to get splinted and have huge pieces of wood stuck into them. Sure. Uh, the only other thing I can offer in regards to that, because it's impossible to opine on if the wood's going to splinter or not, but we have the same installation at El Grasso Technical High School along the roads there, same uh, design engineer, hence that's why it's the same. That's been installed now for, oh geez, uh, one, two. So we're two years over it now. And those kids are running up and down and all over those things and walking on them and jumping around. So I haven't heard anything about it. So as far as I know, um, there isn't a big risk there, the, the best I can tell you anyways. Okay. We also, we also don't have any installed where kids are, the kids that are going to Thames River would be. They're all on the sidewalk and they're all along the detention pond where kids won't be, have access to. Well, they will because the, on the sidewalk because you'll have a walking crowd coming through that area and plenty of pedestrian traffic with bus stops and all. Sure. Yeah, that's definitely my, pedestrian. That's my main concern. If you're telling me they're going to be okay, they're okay. Yeah. I just wanted to raise the issue. Yeah, to the best of our to the best of our knowledge, we haven't seen any of that at the other school where it's installed, and uh, that's the best I can tell you. Because, like I like you said, you know, the rest of it's on the highway, right? So I mean, it's hard to it's hard to opine one way or the yeah, other. Yeah, right. And they are set back just slightly, so it's not like walk on the sidewalk, they'll be rubbing up against them. You know, I wouldn't people. suggest they run their hands along them as they're walking down the sidewalk, but besides but that, that's what the concern. 
Well, that's well, what I was a, a learning it's experience. It's, uh, yes, I remember it's that. Tough, from, and I understand, Kevin, totally where you're coming from. And, no, it's, it's a great point. You know, but, but like I said, it's hard to give you any sort of real assurance on that. I mean, it's. Uh, no, I wasn't looking for the insurance. It's just. Yeah, okay. I'm just telling you what I know. That's all. <laughs> Okay. Sam, Sam's good. Sam. Yeah, I just wanted to say, Brian, I used to get in trouble in the third grade for wiggling my ears while I was talking. So I don't think that's very funny. On, 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 <laughs> if you could prevent that, that, that'd be good. <laughs> Sam, you spoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I, I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> Can you just say something about wiggling his ears? <laughs> Did I hear that right? Yeah. I, I think, think that's did, but I'm just going to let it be there, Bob. You know what I mean? I'm just going to let it be. Okay. <laughs> Moving along. Yes. <laughs> We're having too much fun, guys. Okay. It's good. Kelly, you all set? I'm all set. Any questions for Cal on uh, West Side or Thames River? We were going yeah. to talk about uh, the possibility of being able to take another walkthrough at some point. Is that still uh, doable? Yeah, I would suggest West Side first while we let. Like, <laughs> while we're not on lockdown. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do the school. It's not on lockdown. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they do. They do expect the uh, personnel to be back next week. So. You know. Yeah, Bob, send me an email whenever you get to have a you know availability. Let me know. Okay, good. Yeah. I'll I'll poll everybody and see what they want to do, and I'll get back to you. Yeah. yeah, I think I think our best time was Wednesday at three o'clock was a uh, a good time. So if that works next week or week after, we'll be there. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, West Side will be impressive. I think you'll see it. They've done a lot of painting down the passageways and stuff. Um, well, and just some some flooring, and some overheads, you know. Lots of windows, which lots I of think windows, like which, which are nice. Yeah. Part of it. Oh yeah, the visual is good. They were grading in between the buildings, you know, and, and or the wings and that sort of thing. So, so, a lot of work going on. Good. I'll be in touch. Thank you. All right, we've been updated on all of those. Rick, have you got anything else? Just Tammy's. Uh, no, I was just asking you. No, I don't have. I think I have everything. Uh, unless anybody has any questions about the elementary schools, I think we've covered pretty much uh, where we are. You know, things are like you say moving along, and uh, we'll just keep our fingers on the pulse of the the things. Oh, one thing I should mention, I guess, is all the uh, furniture FF and E. All the POs have been issued on that. Oh, just good. signed off. I just signed off on the technology, and, and Greg signed off on the technology POs today. We're going out to bid Friday for those three items that require a bid. So there's uh, the charging station. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of things: charging stations. There's the uh, server, and one other one. Uh, Tammy, I don't remember what that one is, but. But they'll uh, be uh, that bid will go out Friday. That information we get the bids back on the seventh of March, and I mean May. I'm sorry, May. and then should be able to award very shortly thereafter for those items. So, so that's moving along also. And that's Excellent. all I have. All right, last last chance to ask any questions on the uh, elementary schools. Otherwise. Kelly, thank you. We're going to Tammy now. So just uh, this is for the uh, Grant Middle School. So the Route 1 signage, um, I'm working with ONG as of recently. We're trying to get a schedule together on when this sign is going to start uh, construction. So um, and then we're also waiting for the actual final pricing. I know last meeting we uh, presented an approximate price of 100,000 uh, based on the sign being uh, special uh, order and design. So we're still waiting for that pricing from ONG. Um, the other item is uh, site work punch list items. So we're going to start beginning that uh, at the end of April uh, to work on those areas. Uh, punch list items in the building. Uh, we had some contractors there this week. 
uh, finalizing all the punch list items. So we're hoping to get all that completed by the end of the day uh, tomorrow uh, in regard to the outstanding uh, billing items. Uh, the other item that's outstanding is the media clouds. Um, so the manufacturer did have a design. Uh, they're just presenting it to the engineer to test it. And once they test it uh, and it's been approved, then they're gonna ship over the new parts and replace them in all the media clouds as well as the lighting. Uh, let's see, that's all I've got for the middle school. So uh, closeout documents are still at 95% complete, uh, same as the punch list items. So we're still at 90% uh, complete with punch list. Any and questions? Did I hear you say $100,000 for the sign? Uh, that yep. was the original first estimate. So Yep, that was the, the first estimate. That's correct. Yeah, so we'll get uh, That's the rest insanity. of them in. Uh, I know. That's total insanity. With that said, like I expressed last time, I am not thrilled about this sign at this price I, and what it does. We have two signs at the high school with all the money spent. And to me and a lot of other people, they aren't worth it. Uh, most, every school in Groton has a wooden sign except for Fitch. And over there, it's almost, you're better off putting, my opinion, putting up a wooden sign and just say West, West End Entrance or whatever, West Side Entrance, and put it there. Because I'm not going to argue with everybody else. But I am not going to approve this sign. All the schools, with the exception of, of uh, Barnum, have a uh, a sign that is similar to the high school. Some of them are not electronic; they have to be uh, put. The letters have to be put up by hand. But uh, I, I don't uh, know of any wooden signs at the schools, other than uh, Northeast. Northeast. With Catherine and that, but I mean, there are other signs. It's the only electronic sign that we have is Fitch. And there's two of them there because the first one sucked to begin with. Well, I think the first one was moved from where we put it last time up by the school building. The school district wanted it out by the street. So it got moved from, in fact, this pedestal is still there. I know. In the parking lot, and it got moved down to the road. Which is true. Um, it was right. one of the first jobs I did when I got here in Groton. Right. I'm I'm having Ajita about a hundred thousand dollars for a freaking sign. To be oh. honest, um, this this seems to me to be a, an insane waste of money. There has to be something else that we can do that doesn't cost a hundred. We, we, we've been through planning. We've been through all those issues. Um, if uh, you want to say don't build it, I'm not asking for your approval. It was part of the plan to have a sign out there. Not $100,000 worth of sign, Rick. Whatever. I mean, if you don't, I mean, I don't this know. What is, this is where you and I are going to have an issue. You know that. Well, if we have one, we're going to have one. Yep. I, I can't help that. You know, but, oh, I understand. No, I can't. But, but the me. sign is the sign. It's what re was requested by the Board of Education. We looked at it. We went through the planning issues. I had three meetings with the plannings. I had two meetings, two or three meetings with the Zoning Board of Appeals to get the size of the sign corrected. It's what the, was requested. We went through several design iterations to get it so it was more school sign, less uh, display, if you will. Um, there is opinions out there that display signs are not. Some come from the planning, P and Z, if you will, but that's not their purview. Um, we meet all the zoning regulations and their, their job was to approve it because it met the zoning regulations, even though Understood. we, we, we had discussions ad infinitum about it. So we don't have a final price. Let us get, uh, let us get Tammy in and us will work on getting the final, final price. We'll come back to you and let you know what it is. That was a rough estimate at the beginning. Um, and we'll, well have to I, let you know. 
I think you guys need to understand that that's not going to fly. It's well, if we have an issue, we have an issue. So, yep. I, no, I, I realize, yeah. and and yeah. that's so, fine. I mean, if you, I'm speaking, go, I'm speaking for myself and yep. other members of the board. Um, that that just that's totally insane. It's absolutely insane to spend a hundred thousand dollars on a sign. And if you look at the percentage, you look at the percentage of the value of the project, ninety million dollars. I'm not. I'm looking at. The, I, I understand. I'm looking at the visual of the first person that finds out that it was a hundred thousand dollars for the sign, and that'll be the one thing they come back at us on. I understand. I understand. For everything else that we've done well, they're going to get us for that. I'm really concerned about this. Okay. Would the Board of Education come up with an alternate sign request? I don't understand why the Board of Education has anything to say about this. Well, ultimately, they, they get they the sign to... when they get it. But it gets the the building gets turned over to them. That's right. And, and it's really. Uh, I mean, I can understand asking them about how they want the rooms to look and all the, you know, how the, the, the school functions. I don't understand why they have anything to say about the sign. Well, we'll take a look at it and get back to you. That's all I can say, you know. No, I point. understand. And, yep. and at this point, yep. Anyone else want to chime in on this? Well, it all depends on what our role is. I mean, I don't know that, I mean, we can probably make the recommendation if it gets to the point where it comes down to money and we don't agree with it, that we can make an, a, a suggestion to the town council that they that that money not be spent on a sign but i don't know if if we're if we're the the authority that says no forget it don't put it in i don't know that well we're not but i just want to make sure that the i mean as far as i'm concerned if we're not the, if we're not the authorizing agent and as a, and as a committee we decide that no that's way too much money then our recommendation would be to the town council that we do not spend $100,000 on a sign. Now, if the town council says, okay, we appreciate that, but we're going to spend it anyway, then, it, then the ball's, then the ball's on them. That's absolutely fine. No, I'm, what I'm asking is what the other members' thoughts are on this. Well, I, I, my thought is absolutely nothing until I know what it's going to cost. Right now, we have an estimate. You know, I think that estimates, I think that estimates outrageous too, but I haven't heard a final estimate yet. Yeah. You know, and then you got to weigh it once the estimate, you know, if that's going to be the price, then we got to figure out if that's what we want to do as a committee. Mm -hmm. Understood. Thank you. Yep. yep. Doug, do you have a, you want to weigh in on this? Sorry, I had on mute there. Um, no, I, I agree that, $100,000 is a lot of money for the sign. Um, I, I think maybe what, what e even though you might not think that the, the, uh, um, the Board of Ed has to, um, um, you know, no say in it, it's just, I, I think what, the, what they're coming from is this is their flagship school. Um, they're looking, you know, for a sign that maybe matches that, whether that's, you know, 100, that worth $100,000, um, I disagree with that amount for a sign. Um, the sign that's up there now, um, I, I, I realize that's uh, temporary, but um, you know, I, I want to wait and see because a hundred grand is an estimate. I want to wait and see what the actual price is, essentially. Good. Okay. Kevin, you want to well, chime yeah. in? Well, I'm opposed to it anyway on this point. And I have to disagree with Doug because Stitch High School is our flag school school flag. Oh, that's okay. Let's let's not get into. <laughs> all no, I want to know is what. I'm all I want to know is where everybody's heads at. I'm against. I don't want to have a discussion on it yet because we're still in estimates. I'm opposed. 
Good. Thank you very much. I'm very glad all of you have a, an opinion on this and we'll work through it one way or another. Yep, we will. Okay, moving on. Sorry, Tammy. Who knew what the bellwether was on that? Night, you know? <laughs> oh, Any other right. questions on the middle school? No, you've done a wonderful job on the middle school. <laughs> yeah, well, no. Thank you. <laughs> Can I can I ask one question and it's more about process. Um, what do you folks want me to capture in regards to this conversation? I, I, I don't want, you know, I don't want it to come off in a weird way, but I also don't want you to get the minutes and then be displeased the way that this this sort of conversation is captured. I mean, maybe well. I, I would just put it out there that the you know the building committee as of right now is uh, we're not we're pretty much undecided as far as a final on the sign until we get more numbers. Yeah, th that's fine. I, I have no problem with that. I was just asking the group because you all are going to review the minutes and right. I, I want to represent your 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 you know yeah. your interest and everything appropriately. So. Right. It was a specific reason that I asked each of the members that are present to chime in. Yes, um, not well, necessarily <laughs> that you need to quote each of them, but for the fact that at the moment, um, there is somewhere between little and uh, no support for $100,000 worth of sign. Yeah. Is that a fair way to put it? It, it is. I, I I generally keep money out of the. Yep, out of the I understand. Business. So right. I, I I will capture it in in a way that says that you know discussion was had, and you know the we're looking for alternatives that are additional information. Less expensive. Right? <laughs> yeah. and, okay. And the committee the committee expressed concern. About there we go. Perfectly fine. Yeah. I have no problem with that. I, I just didn't want you guys to be the minutes and be like, geez, we had a long conversation. About I understand that. entirely, Brian. Thank you so much because right. these That's are right. available to the public as right. is recording. It, and, and, it do, and it does make a difference on how it's worded and said. Absolutely. Yep. And well, at this you. point, we're still playing with estimates. Nothing is written in stone. Um, just just uh, so that, you know, the four individuals that were here as a quorum have uh, some serious reservations around a 100,000 or around the, the current estimates. Right. I, I will, I will capture it. Um, hopefully close to that. Thank you very much. No, no, thank you. Appreciate the effort. <laughs> Amy's going to be interrupted again, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> So any other questions for Tammy on the middle school? No, not necessarily for Tammy, just Rick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all uh, ears. I'm all ears. No, I, I know we've been through planning and zoning and the size wise, that's all pretty much cut in stone. Um, and uh, have we, have we looked at or been around to see what, is there an alternative to a sign other than this one? Well, like I, I said, mean, or is this pretty we much the sign that they want to go with? Yeah, we went through several designs. If, I mean, there's certainly the alternate, just scrap the digital thing and you have somebody out there putting numbers up like they do with, uh, currently at Claude Chester's. But um, we're trying, I guess, to say to keep up with sort of the latest technology, help Sam yeah. with the uh, with the well, I know, uh, ability I, to do that I sort of the, stuff and to I know the control Grasso things tech, remotely. I don't, and I don't want the Grasso Tech sign to just swallow us. Like, no, and, and we're not even there. Right. And that's been looked at. We had, actually, we had the sign designer out there look at the Grasso Tech sign. Part of the issues, and I can tell you a little bit more about the planning process. They were concerned that something complimentary or, or similar, if you will, was there. I think they're still, and this is a personal opinion, still kind of hurting over the problem of what they approved for the Grasso mm. Tech sign because it is a whole lot larger 
than ours. I mean, current uh, regulation is a six foot high. That sign happens to be eight foot high and about 10, 12 feet long. The yeah, one that's yeah. proposed is, is smaller. Um, the digital portion does meet regulations. There's a couple options there. One was a little less expensive than the other. So that's certainly one way to, to pare it down. Okay. But, uh, but also, you know, the brick, uh, they wanted some consistency, if you will, between the two sides of the street. So that was going on. Um, a lot of a lot of in depth discussion with the with those folks, and and again, a lot of uh, yeah strong opinions of folks that like oh, one there thing is. and I don't mean, like another. You know? I mean, you're also going to get people out there to say, "Wow, that's all they could do. The best they could do was put up a wooden sign." Yep. You know, well, so that, you're going to get both of it. So, I mean, I, was, I agree. I just want to wait until we get a final. Right. You know. And that was unfortunate on the other school projects because basically we ran out of money, particularly at the high school. You know, the high school sign was reused. Right. The other schools, public works made those signs and they did a good job, but they lasted for a while. And Sam can tell you the one over at, at uh, Kolaski has been replaced with the more traditional type that they have at the other schools now with the lettering and that sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah. we didn't want to get into the same situation we were there that you spend you know, X amount of millions of dollars and you have a cardboard sign or a right, plywood right. sign or whatever. Yeah, I agree. So, um, so that's, so Rick, uh, that's again an opinion, you know. Rick? Yeah. Yes. yes sir. Um, just, so, just so everybody else understands, what percentage of that will the state cover? Uh, I'm not sure. We're looking at that. And if it's off site, they may not. Exactly. Yep. So... I just and want to make sure it is you understand so, that. Yeah, yeah, to get all the facts out there, I, I agree. We yep. need to get everything out there on the table. All right. Uh, who would do the sign? The, it would go through the contractor that, okay. that we have. That, that's the estimate we've got. Um, the digital portion, there's a couple of folks out there that were looking at the digital portion, and it was all put together as one piece, basically the metal panels, the name plate, if you will, on the top and the digital display would all be put on top of, of the base, which would be uh, a brick and uh, some cast uh, stone on top of it. And a very yeah. similar brick to the other side, which we may have an issue with anyway. So right. that may be a reduction in cost right there. So again, we're still working through some of those things, trying to get it all <laughs> together. Okay. All right. We will be looking at this again, apparently. Oh yes, I guess so. That's okay. Would it be helpful to the committee if they knew the uh, the uh, breakdown between um, material and labor and the sign itself? You know, well, once we get once we get that stuff together, we, we can. Yeah, and I think especially you the know we breakdown can say between especially the breakdown between the base and mm -hmm. the digital and you know other right. alternatives. Right, and that's my thoughts exactly because yeah, for a hundred thousand dollars, I could put a small house there. <laughs> oh, good luck. Yeah, good luck with planning on that one. No. <laughs> I'm going to say you should have came to some yeah. of those other I'm not, meetings, I'm man. Not I'm not trying to make light of that, but just, just you know what I'm saying. I mean, from from the standpoint of the first person that you know voted for this project and found out that we spent a hundred thousand dollars on a sign, I don't want to be the one that has to explain to them that that's you know the cheapest sign we could find. Wow. Well, again. I mean, we could always put a piece I would, of cardboard I would, I would, I would up with a the painting on it. But. I, I don't mean cheapest, but I, I, I understand, understand what I'm about. saying. Yeah, I'm, I understand. I'm worried about the optics. Yeah. Just I, I understand that, too. But, I, you know, it, and it's the same thing. I worry about that. And I also worry about the other side of that coin where, wow, you spent $90,000 on a school and you spent $5,000 on a sign. No, I hear you. You know. I just want to make sure that, you know. Right. We, we've... Yeah, Closed all the eyes and dotted all the T's here. Agreed. So the the only the only thing that I would I would offer in regards to this is that if if you were getting pushback in any way, you know, 
it, it is a hundred. So let's say it is a hundred thousand dollars for the sake of argument, right? You, you really need to look at that over the life cycle of the building. And then you need to look at how long that school is going to stand there and the types of warranties you're getting on certain things like panels and, and all that stuff. So if you say it's a 50 year life cycle and you divide, you know, the price of the sign over 50 years and you do it a year by year breakdown, right? It's, it's not that bad, right? It's not right. great. So, so Brian, I understand what you're saying, but let's be realistic. Okay. You got a digital sign in five years, they're going to have a whole new process. And, you know, this stuff is not going to last. Whether it lasts or not is immaterial. It's not going to be maintained. And because, you know, you're going to be into new drivers, into new everything. Um, it's, it's sort of the question that was asked when we started this. It's like, why are we building brick and mortar schools when we're going to be doing this online? Well, and so I just... I just want to make sure that, you know, we're, we're being very careful here. Mm -hmm. The optics are, yeah. are very important to me right now. Right. I, I understand. I was just trying to give you a different response to necessary optics from people that may be questioning you. That's all. Yep. No, I appreciate it. Okay. Have we beaten this to death now? Well, I was going to, I was going to yeah, get a consultant and see if the horse was dead, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. You know, we'll, we'll get back with you all and let you know what's going on. All right. Appreciate it. Yep. Moving on. Rick, do you have anything else? The only other thing I have, well, and I've got a <laughs> stuff in the works for the, for the Cutler sign. So we'll talk about that too, when we get to that point. Um, <laughs> to make them kind of the same but maybe not so maybe they'll be the same regardless of how they look but all, but also i'm going to be out of town i've got to attend a funeral thing for my mom on the fifth so i'll be out from the fifth to the twelfth so like i said brian will, and that arcadis team will cover the meeting and uh, get get things together so i'll uh, work with them on a list of things that are remaining and, and uh, that really need attention for, for from you folks and we'll they'll be able to present that at the next meeting. Uh, on the sign thing, Rick, um, I know you talked about it because you said you look at, Bob asked a question about whether it's covered by the state. Now the one over at uh, the Mystic River School, the Cutler School, that might be if it's on the that, that would school be. It's property. 80, yeah, and it's 80% over there. Right. So it's it's a whole kind of different. So if you do a $100,000 $100, sign there, you won't hear anything from me. Yeah, well, it's, the sign is all very similar. So, I mean. <laughs> all right. Yeah, uh, well. So, sign of the times, as they say, you know, I just. Uh, <laughs> that, Kelly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I don't think I have anything else unless Brian has something for you or Sam or Kelly or Tammy. All set. Brian, do you have my phone number? Ooh. Brian? Yeah, I'm no. sorry. I, I couldn't get my mouse to get off my other screen where I was uh, right. I'll, 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 I'll make sure they get it. I'll give it to them. Yeah. Okay, I'll, only because I'd like to, you know, tap in a couple of days before the meeting. Yeah, sure. right. While you're right. gone. Yep, understand. Absolutely. I'll make no sure problem. they have that contact information before that you've been, um, you have theirs. So that's okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Sam, you got anything for us? I got to unmute again. Okay. So um, <laughs> uh, regarding the signs, I would add two signs, the price of two signs together and divide it by two. So it doesn't sound quite as bad, but um, <laughs> once you consider the 80%. Uh, no, on the Fitch High School asbestos project, uh, the, I, the architect did respond to me this morning on his progress. He's finishing up the paperwork uh, to get ready and scheduling meetings with the uh, town's folks. Uh, you, Bob, and so on uh, for next week. So he'd be calling to set appointments next week to get those signatures so that we can go to the state on that. Excellent. And the timing on that the, is still the same as we talked about before? It's for this summer, presently. Very good. Anything else? That's all I have for now. Anyone have anything else they'd like to play with? Just one question, Bob. Since sure. 
brought it up with the high school. These three, three schools are all asbestos free. Yes. And PCB free. And PCB free and, you know. And ATR free and. <laughs> and paint and lead paint free. <laughs> uh, lead paint. We also, lead we paint. also have uh, radon <laughs> systems that are installed. You know, the pumps are not installed at the middle school, but they're all wired, ready to go. They are installed at the two elementary schools. Yep. So all those uh, environmental things have been looked at. and uh, Right. And, and before we, uh, when we. When we close this project out, we'll get a letter from the architect stating that uh, uh, there are there have been no asbestos containing materials in the building of these projects. So well, and, a letter and, that we need to get to the state when we finish this project. Right. right. And, no. and actually, I think during the planning phase, the architect had to write a similar letter to uh, the state before we got approval of the projects through them. Yep. So. Yeah, that was an okay. early on. Yep, an early on thing. Yep. Okay. Everybody good? Good. Yep. Yes. And everybody, please stay safe. Yes. I want to see you again in two weeks. Without well, actually, in. actually three really? weeks, probably. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> well, this, is, this is a long one. Yeah. And unless we have something that's really So our next meeting is the 6th. It's the 6th. Sixth. Sixth. That's right. 6th of May. Yes. Right. Well, then just stay safe that much longer yes uh -huh. true and we'll probably have a walkthrough before then anyway i guess exactly yeah. i'm going to tag right. all of you and see what uh if next wednesday works for you um we'll try to put that together i'll be in touch hey, otherwise okay. everybody go eat dinner yes that's right it, it would have been a short meeting had we not talked about a sign but that's okay <laughs> That we damn four-letter word. Uh, we got to talk about everything. I mean, that's <laughs> that's that's how we work things out, right? Okay. Thank you all. Very good, everybody. Thank you so much. Stay safe. All yeah. right. See you in a couple of weeks. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.